and hello everyone welcome back to a new video I made a stupid mistake here when you go to video you have this one right here which says if you press F12 you know um, it stops recording and I sat here for almost a freaking hour pressing F12 between this and this you know because I got a film and this keeps stops it just stops recording here's all of my tries all of my attempts and I'm like why is it happening so yeah um, just uh, if you plan on using Bandicam just click that all right now let's get to the video all right so today we are going to continue with arrays so we have an display button here and with a reach edit here we're going to try and get user input you are recording and you are also recording okay just making sure i don't trust either of you anymore all right so we're going to get user input and we're going to populate the array with the user input really simple stuff people but you know the book focuses on it it says yeah you might not know what's going on and it's fair enough i i probably also didn't know what was going on when I learned about Delphi and arrays and stuff. I remember at some point I didn't even know how to make a basic variable. Uh, let's put that off. That's very annoying. Uh, that's like that. Okay, and then we got a variable. We can go eyes and integer. And then here at code we can just loop. And then we can go for i becomes one to length the length of our scores so we have an r scores here which is one to five of an integer type begin so what our scores are going to be it's going to be the scores of the class let's say they wrote a test and that's what their scores are going to be let's out of 10 or something you are still recording right okay good so and how's my voice does it my voice isn't that good okay it's kind of soft but it's fine so, what we're going to do is we are going to get the user input via an input box. Now, if you were to do it through an edit, it would kind of be the same procedure you use of a variable. It's really simple. It's not hard at all. So, let's go. Input is an input box, right? The input box. Do that, do that, and do that. And then we go, uh, yeah, I forgot to put this here. Our scores at index i becomes, just put score, uh, what did he get? Let's say there's only min in this class, and we don't need to give it a default value. All right, so yeah that's this isn't to say the best way to do it of course you can do it without a for loop um it's just we're going to populate everything uh, five we're going to populate all five we don't want to type this out five times so we're going to do that we're going to use a for loop and then after we've done that we can just go for for i again becomes one to the length of our scores of course, it's better practice to turn this into K since we already used I, but it's not that big of a deal anyways. And you can just go print output dot lines dot add and then our score. Oh wait, we gotta go um, into to string or set or scores at I. Control D that, and when we run it, we get an error, which is not nice. Oh wait, yeah, this has to be string to int. Sorry about that. That's a very stupid mistake to make since this up here is an integer, and this is an integer right here, you know, and this is this returns a string by default. So let's run it. Right now here we have a display button. What did you get? This one got 9 out of 10, 1 out of 10, 20 out of 10, and this one got 5 out of 10. 
and it's fine so zero there we go we got input and we displayed it right here we can go and get it again if we just type it out you know this is basically how you get input very simple not anything to it it's if you don't know if you don't understand in what an array is, just think of it as a variable. You probably understand what a variable is, right? Something that keeps a value. Now, this basically says keep five variables in here, but we don't want to give all of them a different name. They're all our scores. We give them numbers. So this would be like one or two or three, you know, that's what's going to happen. So this is that's basically what an array is. It's just something that can hold variables, if that makes it easier for you to remember. It's basically variables on its own, but without needing to give all of them a different name. Like let's say name one becomes this, name two becomes that, name three becomes this. You know, then you just make our names and then you give them indexes. Easy as pie. Hope you all learned something new today. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.